month I'd like us to talk about are two heads better than one? You know, it's interesting that many principals still don't understand the amazing opportunities that they can create within their agency practice by developing a culture that ensures that their teamwork between sales and property management is there. So often, rent rolls are in one part of the office and sales team in the other part of the office and there's a great big wall, the Berlin Wall, in between. But we need to understand property management is unique because you are developing long-term relationships with each of those landlords. And if it's done properly, you can have a landlord for 20 years or more. Whereas in sales, they only, the relationship really only lasts for about four to six months. So if we focus on developing the relationship with the landlords and building that relationship with our sales team and property managers together, bringing them together, that's where we'll see some distinct differences within our agency practice. The agencies that are growing in both sales and property management have learnt the secret of having their sales and management teams working together to nurture the landlord relationship. Information nights, maybe if you have new staff come on, you have a meet the property manager night. You have an investment seminar. You have situations where you get involved with a builder and get the builder to come in and you promote some new investment strategies to your investor landlords. It's a great opportunity to socialize and build that relationship with your whole team present. And that's the key, is getting the whole team involved because two heads are better than one. If your landlord knows someone on your sales team and they've got to know them over a few drinks at a social function, there's more chance that they're gonna pick up the phone and give them a call when it comes time to selling one of their properties or even their own home. So it's all about the relationship earning the right to offer good advice and good service, looking after your landlords, not just a newsletter every now and then, not just a, a statement at the end of the month, but build the relationship. Putting this process together with a local builder enables you to help your, your investor or your uh, landlord to build their quality portfolio. You're helping them become wealthy. You're helping them work towards their retirement dreams and therefore you become an intricate part of their life. You become the specialist in their life for property and that includes sales as well as anything else. And so your salespeople can then talk to them about building their portfolios. They can talk to them about uh, redeveloping their site if they've got an old house on a new on a big site. They can talk to them about renovating or developing their property or even selling an old property to buy a new property. So there's so much more that you can do. And the golden rule is that when you're dealing with a client with that type of relationship, you're not out there fighting for the highest commission out of one or two percent because you've got to fight against all those other agents. You've earned the right to do business with this client. So earn the right to do the right thing with your landlord. Earn the right to get their respect and understanding. Help them, work with them, look after their interests, and when the time comes for them to sell, when the time comes to buy another property, they will invariably look after you. Thank you for listening. I trust that this tip has been of benefit to you, and as we encourage you and help you to build a better business, till next time, it's been Chris Goodway from The Rentrol Broker. Goodbye.